they told me I was in heart failure and I just didn't believe it. I just could not comprehend what that meant. I didn't know if heart failure meant I was dying or, you know, I just, I couldn't even wrap my head around it. At seven and a half months pregnant, Susan Sigenthaler was experiencing symptoms she thought were what came with being pregnant, but her gut told her differently. An otherwise healthy 38-year-old with no family history of heart disease, Susan was in heart failure and was put on medication that wouldn't harm her unborn baby, Stevie. A C-section was then scheduled for December 26th, but she naturally went into labor the night before. Before, before we had her, it was really scary. I didn't know if she was going to make it um, through the labor. Born premature, Stevie was otherwise healthy. But the next task for doctors at UW Health was not only to keep Stevie healthy in the NICU, but to save Susan's life by continuing with medication for her heart, which was then pumping at a 5 to 10 percent fraction rate. Every time they mentioned worst case scenario ended up happening um, and eventually they put me on the transplant list. Susan waited 11 days for a new heart, which health professionals at UW Health say heart failure in pregnancy is rare. Certainly heart failure that progresses to the point of needing a heart transplant in the immediate postpartum period is an exquisitely rare thing. But defying the odds, Susan was given a second chance at life, all thanks to a stranger. As happy as we are, I know that somebody had to lose a loved one, and so that thought crosses my mind a lot, especially on Mother's Day, because, you know, it's very possible that we wouldn't have had a Mother's Day without them. Able to spend her first Mother's Day as a family of three, happy and healthy.